Hello everyone, my name is Fox. This is going to be showing you how to play RPCS3 on your Steam Deck, so PS3 emulation. First you're going to go into the Discovery Store to install this flat pack. So this is RPCS3, you'll search up top here and go ahead and install it. Pretty straightforward. At that point you're going to want to go to Firefox and download the PS3 update. You're going to go to File, and then you're going to install the firmware. And that'll be 4.88 that you're going to install. And then you're going to want to add your games in here. Now in some of the games you're going to want to right click, uh, well you're going to you're going to right click which is l2 you're going to go to check game compatibility right there and this is going to jump you over to the rpcs3 wiki and if the game has anything that people have noted what you need to do to get it working it's going to tell you pretty quickly right here so if you see configuration and there's stuff to put in there you're going to want to use those configuration changes so you're going to use L2, right click on this, and then you're gonna go into, now I've already created, it's gonna say create custom configuration. Right now it's gonna say change. Now you're gonna see right here, like right color buffers, resolution scale threshold. These are things that I've already done myself in the background, so you can see that I don't need to redo that. Now that that's pretty much set, the only other thing that we need to do is make sure at a global level, yeah, Vulcan is already there. Thankfully, Vulkan is working as the backend renderer for RPCS3 on the Steam Deck just fine. That is pretty much all you need to do for RPCS3. Now, one of the things that you're going to have to do is you're going to have to open up Steam. Now, one thing you're going to notice is that if you go into RPCS3 and you try to look at controllers, you're not going to see anything. You'll go to devices and you won't, nothing will be showing up. So what you're going to want to do is it's only going to show up when Steam is loaded. So because of that fact, we need to add RPCS. The easiest way is to add RPCS3 to Steam. So I'm going to load that up just so you can see right now. And then on the bottom, you can see right there, we can say add a game. We'll just let this load. So you're going to go ahead and click add a game and then do add non-Steam game. And then when you're here, you can go to RPCS3 right there. Say add selected program that point you're pretty much good to go now with steam loaded you can actually when steam's loaded it'll actually configure the neptune controller i like to just have it in steam because then everything kind of just runs through game scope and you get some other benefits that way so we're going to go ahead and go into the steam ui itself all right so now you're going to want to go to library right here and you're going to click over to installed we can see that rpcs3 is there we're going to go ahead and load that up now we have RPC, uh, RPCS3 here. Now one thing that I would really recommend that you do is close this log window because GameScope is going to try to draw whatever is the primary display. And because there'll be two displays there uh, and the log will be filling up, it's going to be flipping be between both of those. So as long as we do that, everything's fine. Now we can go into pads. And if we go to keyboard, you can go down to EV Dev right there. Once you select EV Dev, at that point it says you know you can see it's already kind of configured you can see all these buttons going because we can't actually go down here to touch you can see the little thing what you're going to want to do is bring up the keyboard so you're going to hit steam and x and then you can just hit r2 for enter and that saved your configuration so with that out of the way we got pretty much everything ready to go let's start looking through all the different games and you see that flickering that's going on that's because game scope is going between the two different windows once it detects which one is the primary window, it's going to automatically do that one. Now, for some different games, you might need to choose different windows, uh, some different emulators. You're going to have to choose some different windows. Hopefully, emulator devs that start targeting uh, Steam Deck and making Steam Deck specific builds, they have ways to remove the primary, the main window. So only the only there's only one window that's drawing anything, and that'll reduce any game scope issues. At this point, you just got to wait for this game to build, and then we're going to show you how that runs.
So in this particular situation, you might be wondering where the dude's shield is. Uh, there is a Nexus mod that you can fix that in, but it's not something that RPCS3 is doing right now, but there is someone that has basically fixed that.
this time? What happened? Carefully. Alright, so that's pretty much going to be the conclusion of my look at RBCS3. There are a few things that I know, a few games that, like Uncharted, Last of Us, God of War 3, those are the games that you guys would like to see. It's really just way too intense for this uh, machine to run. I tried God of War 3 and I was getting around 8 or 9 FPS in the intro screen. It's pretty brutal, so um, you might want to wait for the uh, RBCS3 devs to take a look at the Steam Deck, see if they can kind of extract anything more, maybe make a special build, or just at least uh, tune it for the build as well. I'm going to be taking another look at RPCS3 on Windows as soon as I have the GPU drivers. As always, guys, thank you for your time, and thanks for watching.